We have kind of three different arms of what we do. We operate in the inpatient space, of course, delivering high-risk pregnancy care to the bedside of inpatients. Our client hospitals put in requests to us. We will hop on screen. We'll first kind of talk with both their bedside nursing and physician staff, make sure we have a good understanding of what they need, review the EMR directly, get all the patient notes and data that we need, and then go directly to the patient's bedside via the cart and be on screen with them, do as much of an exam as we need through telehealth. But most importantly, we'll counsel them on the presenting problem that they have, what the workup's been to date, what the plan for the future workup is, and then lastly, what the implications are. Of course, we'll tie a bow on that by getting back in touch with their uh, OB provider that's managing their care in the hospital, making sure they have a full understanding of kind of the scope of our consult, our recommendations, uh, and what we think the best next steps are gonna be. We also operate in the outpatient arena. That can be either alongside existing OBGYN groups or assisting MFM groups. We have clients around the country that uh, dedicate either half day or full day MFM clinics and uh, they bring their patients in. Uh, they do the ultrasounds, we interpret the images and then we meet with the patients about either the ultrasound findings or their maternal issues or both. What that does is it allows us to substantially increase the amount of prenatal care and high risk pregnancy care that a patient can get by keeping their care local. When we talk about our ability to keep patients local, it's not only the fact that, yes, they don't have to travel as far, it's that they can continue their jobs and working in a full-time capacity. And not only does that improve their ability to manage their life and their schedule, but also it increases the likelihood that they'll actually keep the appointments. So they get more prenatal care. Lastly, we operate in the ultrasound space, trying to either diagnose fetal abnormalities or looking at more nuanced ultrasound studies to follow problems like growth restriction and those sorts of things. Recently, we had a case where there was a, a really a cardiac non-finding um, of a fetal heart that was diagnosed as just suboptimal imaging. Our advanced practice sonography team, which is a group of sonographers specific to access telecare, reviewed the imaging and actually thought the imaging wasn't suboptimal, but more characteristic of a specific type of complex congenital heart disease. So they, of course, immediately alerted our MFM physician who was interpreting the ultrasounds for the day and that physician correctly diagnosed an outflow tract abnormality, which is highly problematic. The identification early by both our advanced sonography team and our MFM physician, we're able to say, this is a problem, and develop a care plan for that patient ultimately to deliver at a level four center with pediatric cardiovascular surgery and get the care the baby needed and ultimately the surgery it needed after birth. When I think about how our telehealth MFM group operates and what we can do potentially better than anyone is we can get into places that physical MFMs can't travel well. It's actually quite a burden on our system when we have so few MFMs in the country nationwide to expect that we could physically be at the bedside of every hospital in the country. But we know that if we're going to improve maternal outcomes and fetal outcomes and neonatal outcomes for that matter, there's a role for MFM to be almost everywhere because obstetric emergencies are not predictable and we know that they're going to happen and they're not bound by geography. We need the highest level of MFM care in essentially every delivery center around the country. This is the impact that our doctors and our advanced practice sonographers make.